cannot quell a god. Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Lady, you're up. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys. It's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No. Wait. Aiden Warsaw. Ashley Warsaw. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. In we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance, a first folly I swore never to repeat. <sighs> can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... Th what the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. Teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, God Guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Guys, is that Drax? I am Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here. Reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. What do you know about it, Goldilocks? More than I mind. This foul feeling is far too familiar. Something to share with the class there, Goldilocks. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greenie. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the only one that hears that, right? Please be something soft down there. <laughs> 
Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, hey, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. After all, something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target. Mantis, I think we did something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Your soothsayer holds no sway here. We are trespassers on tainted land. Guess that means we're in the right place. creepy at all. <laughs> Hold up! Look! I bet I could beat you to the center. Are you so keen to usurp your father, little one? <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax! Wait up! <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Goldie, you seem extra twitchy. We are unwelcome and being watched. There he is again! Drax, buddy, wait up! Forced to follow fools. <laughs> Damn it! I can hear you, little one. Great pawn on a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. I'm working on that. Last huh? you can Your friend is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help, you seem full of opinions on how this works. <laughs> it is you who forced me to follow this fantasy of falsehood. There! Look! Hey! How did you beat me? I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Many fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa, are you all right? Flark is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. Flark are those! Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! Sure, we can follow Drax through that portal. Won't matter if Warlock can't get it open. What's next, Peter? Don't pop a one battle. Awesome! Come for Kung Lundgren! Look out! The Flark are those! Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! Got it! I'll deal with the nests! You guys keep those things on Golden Boy!
purchase. Prepare to be pulled within. from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. Is that? Drax's wife. I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted. Man. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big lug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. We gotta let her go. I do not know what you ask. They go splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. We are painting the battlefield right now, Rocket, in so many shades. But you're too excited. This love fest, this dazzling euphoria, it'll all disappear. Who's with me? Can't wait to take him down! This food, dude! charade.
All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Drax! Come on, buddy. I know you can hear me. This ain't flarkin' funny. I know you're in a dark pit. There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us. I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. special they are the only thing that matters my whole that was the most fearless mate I've ever known he brought me peace even during times of war my Camaria my innocent little Camaria she was the best of us both despite her meager stature they both were were. They were. Quill. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It is a perversion, fed by desperation. Without it, I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier. If you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. Worthy. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had. And not resent the time we lost.
How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse of judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Pure Quill, your child is in danger. If her pain is half of my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black dwarf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Time to go. Goldie Braun! Wanna get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and you're understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. <laughs> eh, that first fight don't count. Hey, we're in this together and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Even in earnest, you underestimate. So, anything you can tell us about what we're up against will be a plus. We're all on the same team. We've gotta work together. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. Worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools, fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. Cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction. Sown from the seed of my strength, my soul stone gone sour, I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! And he's got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? 
quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. I mean, we could get her back. Essence can be retained, but not restored. Her echo acts as anchor, manipulated by Megas to deceive the dog. So, it's like Corel said. Nikki needs to accept her death. This feat is not so easily done. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So, Nikki's like the head vamp. So, step one find Nikki. Step two convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downers, but how are we supposed to find the kid? Yeah. What are you- What's going- Oh, Lara. Oh. Mark. They've got the cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. Now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mic. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? He has assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the map. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. Groot agrees with you, Muscles. 
sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock striking celebration. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Oh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on. It was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved our lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. We rode and saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Be right there, you impatient flark snuffle.
There you go. It's all yours. Ooh, got a crick in my back because of that. Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. Oh. You didn't light it. Peter Quill, I did not expect to find you in here. Hey, sorry. I didn't mean to. It is fine. Your company is always welcome. And thank you for the gift. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Figured you might want to light it from time to time in memory of your family. Why would a lit candle remind me of my family? Every memory I have of them has been carved into my flesh. You... What? The red scars that I bear. They are a record of every great deed, an important milestone in my life. Oh. Well, I just thought it was because they look cool. No, Peter Quill. On Katath, we practice scarification. So that there is a record, proof, that one is worthy to enter Ultath. Such a record is required for judgment in the afterlife. So, your tattoos are actually a record of your life that's been carved into your skin? Yes. The process is known as the Jil Tara, and is extremely painful. It requires focus and self-control, and occurs many times in a Katathian's life. No offense, Drax, but they just look like a bunch of swirly lines. Perhaps to you. To me, they are the most important moments of my life. Each line is composed of a thousand scars, each engraved with the tooth of a walnut creature. What kind of moments get recorded? Kill counts? <laughs> Stuff like that? No, Peter Quill. A Katathian life record is a record of just that. Major milestones and important events. Like the day I became a man. Gross. And the day that Hovat accepted my proposal of marriage. And later, the marriage ceremony itself. And the day that Hovat gave birth to my daughter, Camaria. And the day that I lost them both. Now I see why they're scars. Yes. Once I believed my failure to avenge their deaths had banished us all to Sarduth. But now, thanks to you and the others, I see a deeper truth. Life does not have meaning without suffering as well. So, hypothetically speaking, if you died tomorrow, what would happen? My Cho Tak.
life essence, would travel to the gates of Ultaf. There I would be judged by the great kings and queens of ages past. And if deemed worthy, the gates will open. And if you're not, you know, worthy? The gates do not open. And... I am cast into Sarduth, where I will cease to exist. Yeah. I guess that's bad. So, like, how do these kings and queens know if you're worthy? By reading the scars that make up my life record. From that, they will judge whether I'm worthy. For some, a life of meaning comes from their trade. And for others, their family. And others yet, from following the warrior's path. Each is a valid entry into the gates of Ultaf. Hence the record. What happens if you don't have a record? Ah. Like yourself. Uh, sure. Like me. What happens to someone like me? Do I just immediately get thrown into Sarduth? No, Peter Quill. Your record is instead given by those who knew you in life. Ooh, yeah. I might have some problems. Doubtful. I've seen your dedication to the Kree child and woman. And to this crew. And what you did for me. As a testament to your worthiness. Oh, uh... Thanks. If anyone deserves a happy afterlife, Drax, it's you. Think you'll be adding any more to your tattoos? Yes. Like maybe a Guardians of the Galaxy logo? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Good enough for me. Something. Eh, not sure we can trust the guy who looked at the grand unicorn himself and thought the land looks like a reliable rep. He simply knows that the true evil is Nagin. All right. Let the waves of calm wash over me and go. That's not how that works. Oh, Gamora. Since when do you meditate? I don't, but desperate times and all. Stuff's been a lot lately. I get it. Hala, help me. Do I get it? Uh, so, how do you use this then? In, in case, you know, Rocket asks. Well, for one, it isn't about just holding it. You also need a comfortable place to sit where you can be relaxed but alert and. Focus on your breathing. Then you practice. A lot. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a lot more work than I was hoping for. Anything worth doing tends to be. So how do you do it? Focus was something Thanos beat into us early on. But it wasn't until I lived with the priests of Pama that I realized how... limited his version of meditation really was. How did you end up living with the priests of Palma? They're not exactly your kind of crowd with the whole pacifism thing. Mantis introduced me to them last year when I needed to heal. They helped me in ways I didn't think were possible. Helped? How? I guess you could say I was broken. Thanos, the war, working as an assassin. It take a toll on you. By the time Mantis brought me there, I was ready to give up. I mean, I was miserable. Convinced I was beyond redemption or worth. I truly believed I deserved to die. But you didn't. Die? No. There was this... boy there. A con. The one you hugged in the village. A con was like me. Lost. His parents had died in an accident. He was combative, rebellious, the opposite of a pacifist. <laughs> the priest thought it would be a good idea for both of us to work through our scut together. <laughs> and was it? <laughs> but that taught me work here. I can't picture Thanos meditating. I kind of always figured he was this egotistical tyrant. No, oh, he totally was. But Thanos also understood that aspects of meditation could be useful to his cause. 
Like focus? Focus, increasing overall awareness, pain tolerance. He came up with a series of exercises, fun little games for me and Nebula to compete in as part of our training. The worst part was, we didn't even know what he was doing until it was too late. What do you mean? Thanos' brand of meditation warped us, turned us into hyper-focused weapons. That way we were numb to the horrors of his agenda. Killing people. Assassination is just a different name for murder. So how did you cope? We made puns. Bad, stupid jokes to shout as we were. Killing people. The more terrible, the better. Here, I thought you just had a really lame sense of humor. Oh, I do. But it was the only way to survive. And it was something we did together. A new kind of competition. Just between me and Nebula. To see who can make the other laugh. That's really messed up. And yet, oddly endearing. Yeah, well, even... Wow. I had no idea. Or... Well, yeah, that... Or what else? Who knows? Yeah. No wonder Gamora's so patient with us. Mm, my shoulders are sore. Yeah, Mantis is heavier than she looks. How is she connected with my soreness? <laughs> she rode your back all the way down the caves to Goldie's place. Really? More, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. I don't think that's where Golden Boy went to. He's in your cabin if you're looking for him, Peter. I know, I know. Rodent, you mentioned the Madonna riding my shoulders through the caves. Yep. There was more than one cave then. You really don't remember anything at all? I have a vague recollection of dampness. Yep, that would be the caves. Kinda glad Loop the Loop stayed on Lamentus. My ears were ringing from all her nonsense. I prefer Mantis's nonsense to Warlock's. The Golden Man is perfectly intelligent. Sure, his words make sense. I'm just having trouble with all the pathos. Yeah, like, what's with the dramatic wardrobe change? Who sleeps in a cocoon and owns a cape? Hmm. Capes are nice. I actually dig the cape. Would a wanton hand supply sustenance to this chamber? He's asking for room service now. Come get your own. We've got a full fridge. Well, not exactly full. Please, recount your adventures in the caves of Lamentus. I should be informed of what I cannot recall. Well, we found you in the village and Mantis knocked you out. Then we went down the caves until we found the cocoon. Whoa there, you missed all the best part. Like when Groot slapped the ancient tree god. <laughs> yeah, it was in the way. Tree god. Impressive. I am optimistic about Peter Quill convincing our guest to fight alongside us. Of course you'd be optimistic. You're always optimistic. Optimism or not, we need to work with him. We need someone strong enough to keep Raker in check if we want any chance to get to Nikki. What happened after you entered the caves? It was all moist and gross inside. <laughs> Only you would find that amazing. The cave network was fused. We had to go down several cliffs. Uh girl on my shoulders. Yes. Oh, 
and Drax, there was the part where you attacked us and straight up jumped into a ravine. I jumped into a ravine. You jumped at me, but I dodged. How could I survive the fall? Scarpants did another one of his magic gun tricks and yoinked you out of there. Oh, right! Peter's guns had another hidden setting. Another? Ah, oh, what an adventure. After Peter Quill pulled me out of the ravine, that is when you found the Golden Man? Nah, then we had to fly past a bunch of gas copies of ourselves. Ah, uh, like Magus, the ethereal reflection of our guest. Eh, not really. Our mirror copies were more like, uh, cheap knockoffs. Nowhere near Dallas feeling. Great. Now it remembers we'll have to fight the real deal in the near future. Hopefully Goldilocks can do most of the smacking. That one's from Lamentis. Does that mean it's a sacred plant? Groot, did you steal a sacred plant from Lamentis? 